ch own ch own is a command used to change file owner and group of a particular file or a directory so to understand this command we need to have two groups and at least two users so in this example i have used user called as abc1 and group called as abc so this actually is a admin command but to understand this ch own command we need to have these two groups and users so let us first add one more group and one more user so to fire this admin command we need to be root so in this nopix live cd you can change your current user currently you are you can see who i mean who are you using the command who am i you are nopix means in this unix system you have logged in as user nopix you need to be root to fire the command user add so to to fire this user add command we need to be root so just type command su now you can fire the command who am i to check who currently you are you are currently root now so now you can fire the command user add space abc1 it means you are adding one more user called as abc1 similarly we need to have one more group so fire the command group add space abc so it means we are creating a group called as abc now this user and group add is over you don't need to be root now so exit the root by typing the command exit now we can understand this ch own command these commands which we have typed are not part of this regular unix programming but i have explained this command so that you won't be stuck while trying to run this ch own command let us come back to our ch own command to fire this ch own command this is the first example ch own abc1 space t1 it means now for the file t1 we are changing the user to abc1 so if we do ls hyphen lrt now we can see that t1's user or owner user owner of t1 is nopix so if we fire the command ch own space abc1 the user that we have created recently space t1 now we are getting the same error that ch own operation not permitted maybe this command is also not executable by the normal user if we type who am i now we can see that we are logged in as nopix so again type the command su to change the current user to root now if we do who, who am i we can see that we are logged in as root root is actually a admin user or a super user who has all type of accesses so now if we type ch own command again ch own space abc1 space t1 now 
just do ls space hyphen lrt we can see that owner user is abc1 for the file t1 so this way we can change the owner of the particular file using the command ch own space username new username space the file name for which we have to change the owner of i mean owner user of that particular file similarly we can type the other command as well in this we are typing ch own space abc1 colon abc space t1 it means we are changing the group to abc and we are changing the user to abc1 for the file t1 so let us type this command ch own space abc1 colon abc space t1 abc1 is the user that we have created using user add and abc is a group that we have created uh, using group add using the root permissions or the root privileges now just have a look at the user and group of t1 before firing the command now after firing the command add command prompt just type ls space hyphen lrt now we can see that new user of the file t1 is abc1 and new group of the file t1 is abc previously it was nopix so this way we have changed user and group of particular file in one shot using ch own command similarly we are rolling back everything to the original that is ch own nopix colon nopix space t1 so we are changing the user to nopix and we are changing the group to nopix so that our all things will be rolled back ch own space nopix colon nopix space t1 now if we do ls space hyphen lrt we can see that user and group are changed for this particular file t1 now if we do who am i we can see that we are logged in as root so to come out of this root we have to type exit once once we type exit and if we do who am i again we can see that we are now logged in as nopix so this way using ch own command we can change the owner and group of particular file so the syntax is ch own owner optionally we can specify a group for a particular file or directory so we have to specify the file or directory name thank you